welcome all of you, the viewers of Berlin Daily Culture. My name is Maria Kondzielska and we continue with our story about Polish-Chinese relations because with us in the studio is Kamil Piernat, the managing partner of Hanglu Lo firm, which is a, a law firm uh, specializing in Polish and Chinese clients. And Kamil, you are with here in the studio with us um, talking a little bit about the book because uh, you were managed to to bring and to publish on the Polish market a wonderful, exquisite book, uh, which talks, which tells us in details about the uh, relations between the Polish and Chinese uh, um, deals and business and trade. But we continue with a little bit with your story, how you ended up in Beijing or in Shanghai. Yes, correct. Uh, in Shanghai, yes, and um, just the yes. first day, just arriving there, uh, you already had the first challenges because you broke your key and you couldn't um, open the door, um, and you were the only white face in the building, I guess. Correct. Yes. But uh, but it seems like the, altogether it was a success because you uh, you uh, you had a very important role in a Chinese company. Um, uh, managing the foreign business, yes? Yeah, I had this fantastic opportunity to uh, work in a Chinese company with, with Chinese people in a fully Chinese environment. Uh, so this company um, was serving uh, like the biggest international company, international company, so it was a huge opportunity uh, to know how the Chinese operate while working with Europeans or with Americans, which is a totally different approach. It helped me uh, to learn how to deal with Chinese entities, which is uh, a huge opportunity uh, uh, for me. And because of it, I've realized that uh, I can successfully work with Chinese entities. And then I had the chance also to work for a, a Polish Ch a Chinese capital group. Uh, that uh, deals with trade. Uh, so I was working both in China and I was working also in Poland uh, while being a, a member of the management board of this company. Uh, and the project is, is quite big and uh, quite effective here in Poland. Thanks to this experience, I've decided uh, one day that by seeing how Polish uh, companies have huge problems to achieve a success while working with Chinese, uh, that I need to help them. I because it's for some people, and so even right now, it's like a black magic, because it's such a totally different culture and with a different approach also to business. So we hear that, oh, it's a huge, huge opportunity, it's a huge market. Uh, they would like our products, but how to enter it, how to even start with it? And then comes right, or your, I mean, and you specialized in that, to open up a little bit um, the, the door for them. Um, so right now um, you are uh, you are managing a, a, a law firm which is um, trying to connect on, and dealing with problems of as well as the Chinese businesses and Polish businesses. Tell us what kind of entities do you like work with, mm -hmm. and um, who are your clients? Okay, so our clients are, are the biggest Polish entities uh, that uh, operate uh, worldwide. Uh, also um, Chinese entities, state-owned companies also uh, that are trying to enter the Polish market, also Polish state-owned entities that uh, um, operate in China. So, so, so usually we work with, with the biggest companies, but we also try to help uh, the smallest entities that trade with, with Chinese companies because quite often they face a lot of problems. Uh, they don't know how to deal with them, they don't know what to do, especially that uh, as of today it's extremely hard to go to China by yourself. So you need to know to whom to turn to, uh, to deal with those uh, Chinese entities. So we also try to uh, try, try, try Polish uh, companies to operate successfully with, with Chinese entities. So this is one thing that when you, when a Polish uh, company would like to uh, encounter or start business, uh, with a Chinese partner, it's usually uh, difficult even at the, the moment of uh, just uh, 
first uh, communications and first um, uh, first deal, just just first talks, basically. So, um, would you, with having all of this experience, mm -hmm. which you already have, um, what would you uh, say is uh, like a big, the biggest obstacles, and for Polish partners or for Polish clients, not to do or do better? Okay, so some of the advice that I can I can give to such uh, Polish entities uh, may seem to be trivial uh, at the very beginning, but it's extremely important uh, to note that uh, most of the Polish companies, while working with Chinese, they simply proceed otherwise, they proceed differently, so they don't follow this type of advice. So this is why I want um, to, 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 to emphasize uh, Mm, this very basic issues. Verify your uh, business partner. This is the, the most important aspect. So point one, verify your uh, exactly. business partner. Uh, exactly. This Who is, is the, the most person? Important one. Yes, uh, what's the name of the company? Because we need to know, and this is extremely important, this is the most important thing. You need to know at least the name of your business partner. And it seems obvious, but it works differently. So those Chinese entities, they have a name registered in Chinese. So the English name that they use, usually it can be registered in some, um, in some local, uh, with some local authorities, but it's not an official name. So the English name, it's not a full, uh, a proper translation from the Chinese language. So the names in Chinese and English can be totally different. And so they need to know the Chinese name of the company exactly. and to verify them if you're not a fraud. Yes. Uh, exactly. Uh, otherwise, and it happens quite often, you don't know even uh, the, when the, our clients tend to us and ask us for any kind of help, we cannot find such company because we have only the English name. So how we can prove that this is exactly the same company, uh, we can just Mm, have some suspicions that this is the company that you are working with. But this is extremely important. Know the Chinese name. This is the very first thing. The second one, know the name of the legal representative of the company. Because you need to know who is entitled to enter into contracts uh, on behalf of this company with you. So this is also extremely important because otherwise you may have a decent agreement which is simply void. So this is also extremely <laughs> this important. This already is a huge challenge when especially everyone doesn't understand the Chinese names and Chinese language. So we have two points which Kamil gave to us and we put a point here. We continue in the next episode, but those are two extremely very simple but extremely important things to know and to remember. I am certain that you already are very intrigued what's going on to be the next one and what's in the book. Thank you for watching our show.